Yobi, I remember you. Did you fall asleep in 2016 and just wake up? <laughs> Yobi tags. Uh, he's he's I, asking if you're friends with Tonka. Uh, no, <laughs> I have not talked to Tonka <laughs> in literally five years. Well, it's been a little less than that. Probably like 2018, yeah. No, it's it was like 2016, 2017. It would have been 2017, because 2017 is when everything blew up, all the Bloodsport shit, right? Yeah, so it was 2017. I, I, I was to... into Bloodsports for the five minutes. Like, I I went on Kumite to fake fight Cognitive Thought. I remember that. And it, and it was really fun until I realized that everybody was being serious. That, yeah, man, that was the thing. Was everyone and then it was like, well, so this serious. became cringe. This became really cringe really fast. You guys are a bunch of like teenage girls, you know, like it's like it's like it's like WWE wrestling. But like when the divas are fighting, you but Wait, uh, uh, Yobi tagged me in some tweet the other day that was you remember uh, Miss Misa? Yeah. How's she doing? Her and I dated for like five minutes way back when I and know he, he tagged us uh, in a tweet. And it was me with a AR-15 and Misa with a Molotov going, the Trump supporter versus the Antifa activist. So I was like, what the fuck? And I didn't see it. When was this? How was, like was this two recent? Two days ago. <laughs> I Jesus didn't see it. Christ. But Misa sent it to me. She's like, what is this? I was like, I don't know. But Yo, the we... art on it is fucking phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about it because we're shocked that we're... <laughs> Because it's like a blast from the past. It's like stuff we don't talk about anymore. Yeah, man. It, I, that blood sport, like the the good shit that came out of the blood sports, and I think most people would agree was the only good thing that came out of that was I met Gasly. That's it. That all of it. That's it. Yeah, that was a good thing. You forgot who drew it. It it looked Samaj esque, but I don't I don't know who drew it. The color palette was definitely Samaj esque. Yobi, all I remember about you is that you were hyper MGTOW and it was cringe. Yes. Okay, it was Samaj. Uh, was that old? Or was that recent? Did you commission that? I'm going to message Misa right now and tell her. Is she doing anything? Me or did I, she quit? I, she's doing shit for her. I don't know if she does anything oh, okay. on YouTube. Well, <laughs> I wasn't asking if she is just in a state of sleep paralysis waiting for you to message her. I was asking if she's, she's doing YouTube. I assume all women are in a state of paralysis until I message her. <laughs> until I show up, yeah. Uh, Edinburgh forgot I'm anti-Migtown, not Migtown. Uh, Were you? Were you anti-Migtown? Sorry. Uh, you'll be absolutely the anti MGTOW activist. I remember that. Yep. Kind of oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah, yeah. It was the opposite of that. It, it was that you were so anti MGTOW that it was cringe. Because <laughs> you wouldn't talk about you pick anything one. You else. Pick one. <laughs> no, I don't think I can. I, I don't think I have to. It, he, he wouldn't talk about anything else. And it was like the world's on fire, right? Like, there are things that I'm against that I also don't acknowledge as the biggest thing in the world, right? You know what I mean? Uh, we we're talking yeah. about vaccine mandates. I'm actually against vaccine mandates with some exceptions. I do not think it's apocalyptic in the way that some people are behaving, but I'm still against it, right? I don't like MGTOW, but I don't think they're corrupting the universe with their, with their rhetoric. And it just felt like that's how you were talking about it. I could be wrong, though. I don't know. Uh, I, I think if I had a no, pick, I'm not see. friends with I'm not friends with Satan and satire. I, 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 I barely knew that guy. If I had a, so pick we were on a really friends. sliding scale of what's worse, the vaccine mandates or MGTOW, you can go with the vaccine. Like, uh, now, no, not see, that, see, this is this is tough. Who would I rather talk to, a MGTOW or an anti-vaxer, or no, anti-vax mandate? That one becomes difficult. Well, I think you're going to hear vaccine mandates is a bigger deal than MGTOW. I think you're going to hear a lot of the same, just rhetoric argument, out of both of them. Yeah, yeah, that's true. 
not the same argument, but the same rhetoric. Like, uh, just rhetorical horseshit. Yeah. The vaccine, the vaccine in general, in is, general bad. is bad. Okay. See? He takes an extreme position on everything. Tell me I'm wrong. Bad. 